Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today's drop has been 15 years in the waiting is the Nike Luna Roam. Welcome to the channel. When I review a pair of sneakers, I always look into five different categories that I think are really important when you're taking those considerations into buying a new pair of shoes. And they are looks, comfort, weight, breathability, and price. And then at the end of the video, I will give these Nike Luna Roams an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device and whilst you're down there. And if you've not done so already, you can also subscribe to the channel. So let's start this review off as we always do by checking out these Nike Luna Roams on feet. Originally released in 2008, these Nike Luna Foams have been remastered by Nike and reimagined. There's a few of the original features still with the shoe, such as the alabaster and green abyss colorway, but the majority of the sneaker, including the materials on the upper and also the Nike Luna Foam midsole, have been remastered and reimagined for this 2023 version. Starting with their looks, I think they look really good in hand and on feet. I really like the upper of the sneaker. I like this kind of crisscross and um, nylon mesh material that you get throughout the toe box and runs throughout the rest of the shoe with TPU detailing on top either side of the toe box here just to add some durability. As you move towards the middle of the foot, you've got the iconic Nike swoosh in black TPU, and then you have some cable, some flywire cable detailing running from the lace loops all the way down to the midsole unit to help with extra support and lace pull throughout the middle of your foot. As you move towards the rear of the sneaker, you've got more of this green abyss colorway with some more cable flywire detailing to make this a little bit more hard wearing the heel area of the sneaker. And then you have this heel pull, which is a really great size for helping you get these shoes on and off. As you move towards the other side of the sneaker, on the inside of your foot, it's an exact mirror of the outside of the shoe. There's no differences at all. Then you move towards the tongue of the sneaker. I really like the block Nike branding that you get with the old school Nike in there in black. It's got a really nice soft neoprene feel to it, this tongue, and it's very thick and very cozy. As you move down throughout the tongue, you've got more hits of neoprene here, and these are some nice ribbed circular laces that you get running through the lace loops here that are also reinforced with TPU. And as you move to the outsole of the sneaker, you've got more hits of this green abyss colorway with this nice hit of blue and also the midsole of the sneaker. This Luna Foam midsole has this nice aged kind of beige look to it. If you're not aware, a lot of the old sneaker mid foams, they used to kind of have this aged look to them after quite a while, they'd get this kind of beige color and they've gone with that straight away with this new Nike Foam midsole for these Lunas. And I really do like the color block change towards the heel as well. Overall, I just think they look really good in hand and on feet. Now I want to talk more about their comfort, where I want to put them to the test on my back doorstep. You could see from the step test that you get a nice amount of responsive give and bounce back when you're putting pressure on this remastered Nike Luna Foam midsole. It does have this kind of ribbed Constantina effect that I was hoping would actually give more comfort under feet. But even though they did have a nice amount of responsive bounce back on the step, when you're just walking around in these generally, you don't get that much cushioned responsive bounce back. They do actually ride quite firm. I did feel a little bit of nice plush responsive bounce back from the heel, but to be honest, from the midfoot to the toe, they did feel a little bit dead underfoot, and I didn't get that much cushion responsiveness as I would like. However, on top of your feet, the plush thick padded lining that you get around the heel and also this plush lining continues throughout the shoe into the toe box and then you've got an incredibly thick plush again 
tongue on these sneakers. When you put your feet in these, on top of your foot, feels absolutely incredible. They're an absolute true fit as well. I've got perfect length UK size 10 feet, so no issues lengthwise, and I've got slightly wider than average feet, but the toe box on these is very nice and wide. They do have quite the like, 2000s runner aesthetic to them with a wide toe box, slightly narrower towards the middle of the foot, and then wider towards the toe box. And for me, that's perfect, because that's exactly how my feet go, narrow than wide. So overall fit wise, they do fit absolutely true fit. So don't worry about going half a size up or half a size down. I was just a little bit let down with the fact that they did ride so firm and flat under feet. Now I wanna move on to their weight where I'm gonna pop them on the scales and see how much they weigh. Tipping the scales at an incredible 287 grams per shoe. One of the lightest shoes that I've reviewed this year and just anything under the 300 gram mark is incredibly lightweight. I think anything around the 350 gram mark and below can be considered a lightweight shoe. So when it dips under 300, you know you're gonna have an incredibly lightweight pair of sneakers on. And I do think that aids with the comfort of these because they are so lightweight. You do feel like you're walking around sometimes with absolutely nothing on your feet. And unfortunately, they just don't have that underfoot comfort just to make that comfort a really high level. But weight wise, they're absolutely incredible. Now I wanna move on to the breathability where I'm going to pump this crosshatch nylon mesh upper full of smoke see how breathable it is. Sadly, these did not have the breathability that I was expecting at all. Now, Nike have said that they have remastered this version to make it more breezy, but what you've got is this incredibly plush, soft, almost fleece-like inner for the sneakers, and that runs throughout the shoe into the toe box. Now, that lining is gonna make it an incredibly difficult shoe to make breathable, even though you do have quite an open crosshatch nylon on top of that how dense that inner material is really does impact the breathability for these shoes. Now you can see that the smoke escapes incredibly from the lace leaf area, but that's only because it had nowhere else to escape in the upper of the sneaker. Some of the smoke did escape from the rear of the sneaker here where you've got some small holes imprinted on the inside of the lining, but those holes are all around here. You would expect the smoke to escape from all of the midfoot, but because you have this additional covering here of the flywire cables and more TPU, it hinders those additional holes that they've printed on the inside of the shoe. There's none of those holes around the toe box area either, so unfortunately these aren't gonna be a very breathable shoe at all. Now we wanna move on to their price. Now these set me back 140 pounds. It's not a bad price for them, but when I weigh it all up, I would have liked to see these coming at around the 125, 130 mark. I think that's more of a fair and generous price for these. Coming in at 140, I do think brings them into a price bracket that just makes them a little bit too pricey for me. And that's gonna bring me on to my overall score for these sneakers. And I'm gonna give them quite a generous four stars. Now, that's only because I think they look really, really good in hand on feet. They're incredibly lightweight and the on top of foot comfort is so good that it kind of takes away from the fact that they're a little bit flat and a little bit hard underfoot. Yes, there is some bouncy responsiveness, so I did give them probably an elevated score in the comfort just because of how nice they feel when you slip your foot into them on top of your feet. But I do think they're really impacted by the breathability, so the score, I think, reflects that quite nicely, and I couldn't give them five stars, obviously, for those reasons. But overall, I think they are a really nice shoe. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, please do not forget to drop some comments below, hit that little thumbs up like button below on your device, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram. Have a lovely Christmas, and hopefully I'll see you again in the new year. Bye.